black cops, I just want to say thank you so much. Okay. I want to say thank you. Really, I do. Because it's not easy being a cop. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, I understand how challenging it can be and how fearful it can be to put yourself in a position to help protect the people within your community um, when you're up against some people with who doesn't have the right mindset, who doesn't know when to respect someone, um, so they feel as if they should take it in their own hands to not respect and cause problems. And that's the reason why I say I respect the cop because people deal with that every day when, when they're not even a cop, you know? So I just want to say thank you to the people of color at the Greensboro Police Department. I just want to say thank you so much because what I've noticed in my years Yes, there have been some white cops that mind their business. Yes. But the majority of the white cops don't in Greensboro. They just don't. And I'm saying this in the most honest way that I can. Okay. I feel so more so comfortable when black cops come around me, when they pull up beside me in a car. I feel very comfortable. When a white cop pull up beside me in the car, I don't feel comfortable at all. Some white cops, yeah. But the majority of them, out of 100%, I would say 98%, I don't feel comfortable with a white cop pulling up beside me, going to a sheets. Get your gas at, um, at the, at the, um, at a headquarters place where they allow cops to get gas. Don't come to Sheets to get your gas. Don't come to Sheets to get nothing to eat. Pack your meal at home. Do not go out there trying to with us. No. And unless somebody called, you got a problem, then come to Sheets. Don't come to Sheets and try to mingle or, or eat. Don't even come. Okay? Just don't. Black cops, yes, because y'all mind y'all's business. And when somebody's doing something, unless somebody call y'all, y'all come. You see, y'all mind y'all's business and y'all know. See, people already know that the image of a cop can be intimidating. Why is that? It ain't black people's fault. It's the white people's fault. Y'all caused it. Y'all messed it up for even some of the good white people. Now, whenever I see a Hispanic, a Mexican, a Asian, a Chinese um, uh, someone from India, anybody of color that's in a, um, a law enforcement suit in Greensboro, I feel so good. I feel peaceful. I feel like, you know, you know, and they can pull up beside me. You know, I won't feel nothing. But really, when a black cop pull up beside me, I feel real good. I'm like, ooh, thank you. It's a brother or it's a sister. You know, it's a brother. I feel real good. Um, But yeah, you know, I don't feel, and I'm not the only one that feels that way now. You have to get rid of these white people. That's the cops. Literally, it's not going to work. You know, um, I love how Greensboro had so many black men that were cops and so many um, people of color. I've seen them, but I don't like these white cops. I just don't because now I got to pick and choose who when they walk. OK, some people are spirit readers and I can read a person's spirit. Okay, and um, and other people have that gift also. Um, it's just not a good gift that um, whenever someone who can read a person's spirit, um, when they get that type of feeling that you know this person looks like they're one of the persons that you know they didn't get a call about a person, but they're gonna come and check and look just in case on their own time. Like, don't do that. You already intimidate us by the damn image of the cop car. Okay. So, and yes, some people, some white cops, you know, you know, they're not nosy and they're not just looking for trouble or anything like that. But as a majority, the white cops are, are, are not friendly at all. Yeah. They might be friendly when they go to the sheets gas station, walk past you. Some of them, some wave, you know, and be nice. Um, but really we don't want to see them. And I definitely don't. I just don't, you know, I'm the most nicest person that you can ever met that you have ever met. <laughs> and, um, literally, so I just feel as if, you know, 
think people should be respected, you know. So if I'm giving you respect and other people are, then what's so hard? Why do you have this attitude or why do you feel as if you have to be? People go through things within their life. Yeah, but I mean, 